Hello everyone, this is Nitpicky Nerd and I just finished watching season 1 of The Book of Boba Fett and I'm not going to repeat everything I said in my previous review but uh, unfortunately the same problem I mentioned uh, kept going until the end of the season meaning the main character is the biggest problem of the show that they made him too weak and pathetic and stupid this was supposed to be the best bounty hunter in the galaxy a skilled and cunning warrior and all of that and yet across the entire season he was not cunning, he was not a good warrior, he constantly gets defeated and gets uh, tricked and fooled by everyone and even in the very end I expected in the last episode they will finally show him for what he should have been from the first place, finally show him being a badass and it was especially annoying in the very end when the leaders of the bad guys were meeting up after their defeat and I knew that now Boba will come and punish them and kill them for betraying him earlier, all those ones who promised him that they will stay neutral but then they tricked him and so I thought okay in the last episode in the end of the episode he will come and he will take revenge on them but then it's not even Boba himself who comes to do it and so that was the moment I was really pissed off completely because they had the scene already but it was this other character who did all of that instead of him Boba himself should have done that so anyway the whole show felt really disappointing in how they treated the main character. Visually I don't have any complaints and you know they brought the Mandalorian into this show and I like the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian I think is what Boba Fett show should have been like. That character should have been Boba Fett from the first place but anyway it's too late for that now because they made him his own character so you cannot change that and Baby Yoda was cute as always and the second to last episode we see Luke Skywalker again once again be aged and we see him training Baby Yoda so all of that was nice but uh, then they kind of ruined Luke Skywalker by making him into an asshole who forces uh, Grogo to choose between either him the Jedi way or the Mandalorian way and then sends him away alone on the Starfighter simply sends him to Tatooine on his own on autopilot so that seems so out of character it was so annoying to me especially because the ending of season 2 was so good it was so epic you know when Luke comes to save him and takes him to be his uh, padawan and all of that and so that was such a nice wrap up the only kind of problem with that is that we don't know what ended up with Grogo later because you know uh, all of Luke's uh, students got killed by Kylo Ren and all of that and so that implies maybe Grogo also died I even made a spoof uh, video of that on my other channel showing as if Grogo died uh, in that event but you know there are uh, years between those events and so they could have done so much stuff in between they could have explained his fate in some other way later and so it didn't have to end badly and so leaving it a mystery for a while would have been okay and they kind of ruined the ending of season 2 by undoing it so suddenly Baby Yoda comes back to the Mandalorian and he's with him again I guess maybe they did it for the ratings maybe because people found it so adorable so lovely uh, that combo of the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda together was so loved by so many people they simply wanted to do it again even though they concluded that storyline but they don't want to give it up and so that runs the risk of becoming like a soap opera just repeating the same stuff again and again so all of that was a little bit annoying to me especially because what it means for the Luke Skywalker character that I thought they were kind of redeeming after the mess that was in the sequel trilogy that maybe by doing this kind of semi-sequel in which Luke was actually what we always wanted to see a great uh, Jedi Master and all of that they could have done it maybe they should have just uh, hired a new actor maybe they could have explained it in universe by saying that he's in the hiding from some other bad guys and so he changed his face for a while they could have explained it somehow just have another actor play him and I could have been fine with that it would have been better and they could have had actual adventures of Jedi and uh, Luke Skywalker the way he should have been and all of that but I guess because they thought they have to do Mark Hamill with the deepfake and so it's too expensive to do it uh, long term and so they cannot do that and so that's why instead they send Grogo back to the Mandalorian on autopilot and so it just makes Luke seem like an asshole so just because Grogo is slightly attached to the Mandalorian because you know he's just a baby but no he cannot be a Jedi now like what the hell and so that was kind of annoying to me even though they can fix it later technically maybe it was kind of a test that Luke uh, puts him through maybe he can be a Mandalorian and a Jedi together and another problem with the whole baby Yoda thing is that how why is he still a baby if he's 50 years old he was around in the Clone Wars and all of that why is he mentally still like a baby like physically I can be fine with that they can say that's simply the biology of the species but why is he mentally still like a baby if he's 50 years old that seems kind of silly and so maybe they should have done a time jump 
and show Grogo being a little bit bigger and wiser and it would have been more interesting but I guess we'll wait and see, maybe they can do it later, maybe by the time of the sequel trilogy he will be like a teenager, uh, Yoda, and so I guess they can play with this character for a long time. But anyway, Luke Skywalker now seems like an asshole, almost like he was in the sequel trilogy, by simply abandoning Rogo because of some uh, emotions he had. And so, just kind of silly to me. And he wasn't really necessary in the final episode, like they could have at least uh, postponed all of that for a while, that you can imagine that he was with Luke for a while longer, that it wasn't so brief, because it seems like Luke had him for a week and then just sent him back. He simply babysitted him for a week and that was it, and so it's not satisfying enough. At least if they said he spent a year or two with him, he did receive Jedi training, then that could be much better in my opinion. So anyway, uh, Baby Yoda wasn't really necessary to have in this show at all, and so they should have postponed that whole storyline till much later, in my opinion. And uh, the whole gang that Boba set up around him, they all seemed uh, kind of useless in the end, and so you have those uh, two green guards who just fall to their deaths, you have the badass Wookiee who somehow is totally bulletproof, they shoot him multiple times with blasters, and he seems totally fine, it's just a scratch, it's just a flesh wound, since when are Wookiees totally bulletproof and so that means all those scenes if I'll ever watch the old movies all those scenes with Chewbacca being in danger he was never really in real danger because Wookiees are apparently blaster proof completely so it will just uh, give him a scratch if he's hit uh, by laser and so that kind of stuff that kind of inconsistency in the logic kind of took me out of a lot of scenes uh, in this episode like uh, you have all those robots firing all these lasers and it barely puts like small holes in the walls just barely being dangerous and so that was kind of strange and annoying and that the biker gang of Borg drones who ends up being just cannon fodder basically also not really accomplishing a lot all of that was silly and the only really good scenes in terms of action and uh, special effects was uh, first of all those uh, tank scorpion robots who had the uh, shields and it was really difficult to take them out and then the rancer monster that Boba is riding on so a lot of those scenes were really good looking, really good special effects and really nice action and kind of funny as well and there was a homage when that monster was climbing the tower, it was like King Kong and so there were a lot of really entertaining moments visually. So that's why I can't really hate this show because it did entertain me, I was really enjoying it in a lot of places but in other places it was kind of disappointing, it could have been much better in other places with all those other characters and especially the main character who was kind of pathetic for most of the season and even in the very end after he defeated the bad guys which by the way was just pure luck it was just it was not because he was cunning or clever and not even a big badass it was simply kind of pure luck sheer luck that he had a bunch of friends show up suddenly and the confrontation with uh, Cad Bane was also not really that satisfying I get the whole western kind of imitation that whole style of it being like a western in space with aliens all of that is cool i like all of that but it also kind of takes me out of it a little bit when it's harder to suspend my disbelief because you know if these are interstellar powers fighting for control of an entire planet to transfer that spice to other planets and they have starships and all of that how come they cannot simply bomb the whole place from orbit or uh, from a starship like uh, boba is hiding in a small building without any shields or anything to protect him so why can't they simply blast him from space or from a starship why they need to send these cowboys to get him like all of that doesn't really make sense logically and so it takes me out of it a little bit because the setup wasn't properly done in my opinion it could have been explained away somehow that maybe there is some kind of force field protecting everyone from starships and so you cannot use ships to blast anyone on the surface or something like that some kind of excuse that will justify why the need for this hand-to-hand -hand combat when you're fighting for control of an entire planet. And so they could have explained it a little bit better with some techno bubble. Kind of like what they did with those uh, scorpion tanks. I did like how they looked like actual scorpions in robot form, like their uh, blasters are like the hands of the scorpion. And so again, visually, I did enjoy the show. I just wish it could have been written a little bit more cleverly and give the main character, the title character, some more stuff to do because... Uh, his right hand woman basically did everything for him. Even in the end, when I was fully expected to finally see a satisfying scene of him coming to kick the asses of all the guys who betrayed him, no, he simply sent his woman to do that work for him instead of coming himself. And that's why the show ended up being disappointing, even though it does have a lot of really cool scenes and really good visuals. 
and did have a lot of good moments, but it's simply disappointed because it could have been even better. It could have been so much more than what we got, and that's why it makes me kind of angry. So that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think, and we can discuss all of this in the comments below. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.